Hey guys, come for MC here. Welcome to our 17th LBP tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at secret counters or uh, anything that you would like to count in your level that the player co would collect. I call them secrets because generally you, uh, you would hide those things and you make them secret to the player. Okay, so the system that I'm going to use to make my secret counter is just a tag and tag sensor uh, system and then I'm going to use some logic to interpret the signals that I set up. Okay, so I am going to use tags to indicate secrets and I'm going to use tag sensors to basically count how many secrets there are left in the level which if you use some reasoning that will tell you how many secrets they have collected. So for example I'm going to set up a 10 secret counter for this level and so that means that if they have collected four secrets for example then there would be six tags left in the level because there are six secrets they didn't find. Um, we're going to start with the basic idea of just when one tag is in the level then we have a sensor here but you'll notice this sensor is odd. It'd be nice if this sensor were to be off and it would only turn on when there are no tags left in the level. So if I were to, to delete this tag it would activate this sensor. Well that's really simple to do if I just invert my tag sensor and just leave the number of keys required to one. So now if I delete this, so this would be like finding the last tag in the level. If I delete this, then it's going to activate that tag sensor. And that's going to indicate, oh hey, you found them all. Okay, so that's easy enough. And I'll just put a tag back in. That's easy enough, but we want to use some logic to set up a way to display if there are two or three or four or whatever tags left in the level. So the way that we can do that is we can just take this exact sensor that we've already made and I've made the radius sufficiently large. You could set that all the way to 5,000 so that it covers your whole level and that's as high as it will go. But then if I make a copy of this and just bump it up to two, number of tags required, then you'll notice that one turns on because there are not two tags in the level. So if I put two tags in the level, now that one turns off. So as soon as I collect this secret and it goes away, then that second tag sensor is going to activate, which we could interpret meaning that there's only one secret left, or that they have found nine of the ten. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. And I'm just going to make some copies of these, and I'll fast forward through it, but I'm going to make a copy and just bump the the number of tags required up one each time until I get to 11. Okay, so I have made all of the tag sensors all the way up to 11. I have to do 11 because we want it to we want there to accommodate 10 tag sensor or 10 tags, which would mean 10 secrets in the level. And if I move this down a little bit so you can see what's going on, as I make copies of each of these tags, you can notice how the lights are going to light up, or rather how the lights are going to turn off. And it goes very systematically. And then once I place all ten, you'll notice that that top one is lit up. Just that top one. Okay, so that is going to, if this one is lit up, that means that the player has found no secrets, and that there are ten tags in the level. But then what happens if I collect one secret? Notice that the top two are lit up. What we're going to have to do is establish a way to give precedence to the bottom most tag sensor. Because this one is already lit up, we would want it to turn off when the next one is lit up. Well, we can't do that. We can't turn tag sensors off. Instead, what we can do is use an exclusive OR. This exclusive OR is set up so that it will activate as long as exactly one input going into it is true. As soon as there's more than one, for example two, then it's going to deactivate. So here you'll see that it activates when I have one positive or one correct signal going in. As soon as it gets another one, it's going to deactivate. So that means that if we set up another one directly below that, the exact same wiring scheme it's going to establish and give precedent to the bottom most active tag sensor. And I can just continue this pattern in this fashion all the way down the line. And you'll watch, watch what happens with those exclusive ores as I start collecting tags. So there's 10 to start, which means the top is active. 
So we have zero, te or zero secrets collected. As soon as I delete one, it goes to the next. If I delete another one, it goes to the third. And so it's, it's sort of a system where we count how many secrets have been found, and we just have to wire up all the way down so that we can accommodate all 10 secrets being found. And I'm just going to wire that up, um, and I'll fast forward through it because it is a bit tedious. It's not too complicated. It's just going to take a while. Okay, so I've wired them all up. Notice that I have not put an exclusive ore on the very bottom one. It's not necessary because this one doesn't have any sensors below it that would need to be given precedent. So I just wire it up, or I, I would just wire whatever I need to straight through this, straight from this sensor. And I'll just put a node down there to give it a nice little symmetry and we can see what's going on. So let's watch these exclusive ores as I start to collect the uh, secrets or whatever you have hidden, whatever you want to keep track of. So as I delete it, it's going to count down all the way down to the bottom. And then once I collect the last one, that last sensor is going to be lit up. And so that would indicate that we have found all the secrets in the level. Okay, so I'm just going to rewind and put my 10 secrets back in here. Now, one of the things that we can do with this so that it's not just turning on lights or whatever. We can give it a, a little bit more of a visually aesthetic display. And the way that I'm going to do that is to just create hologram um, hologram numbers. And so I'm going to just quickly make numbers 1 through 10. They don't have to be anything super fancy. They can just be something like this. And notice that anybody can do this. It's really easy. And the nice thing about hologram is that eventually I'm going to be able to overlap these and give it a nice little LED display. OK, so I'm going to fast forward through this as I finish this out. OK, now you'll notice that I have added an extra one onto the front. I could even move this off to the side. This is going to be our tens place. And so it's just going to be, that one is going to light up if I have at least, or if I have found all 10 secrets or I found all of them. And then these are going to be our ones place. And so if I found 10, all 10, then it's going to light up this zero. Or if I have not found zero, it's going to light up that zero. Otherwise, everything else is just going to be a straight wired up where it's appropriate. But because this zero can be lit up in two different ways, I am going to need an OR gate. Okay, and this OR gate is going to be active if I haven't found any secrets. Remember that that is indicated by this first one right here being lit up. This would be no secrets at all. And so this OR gate is going to wire right into that zero. But I also would display a zero if I have found all 10. And so this bottom one right here, which if you remember, lights up once we've found all 10 of them, that's going to go to our OR gate and to the 1 in our 10's place. And then we just systematically wire this up. So this would be I have found 1 secret. This would be I have found 2 secrets. And so on and so forth. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Now, our secrets don't have to be just put on a circuit board like this. So what I'm going to do once I wire this up is I'm going to show you a nice simple way that we can make a secret collectible out of hologram and then it's going and then so when you collect it it's going to disappear which along with it will destroy the tag on it. So that'll be kind of like what we're simulating by deleting tags here. Okay, so you'll notice that the only thing that's lit up right now is the zero. And that's lit up because all 10 tags are still here. As soon as I delete one, it's going to switch to the one. So that means I found one secret. Two secrets, three secrets, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then lastly, 10. Now this 10, is, it looks kind of funny right now, but it's just because we have the one not right next to the zero.
Okay, so I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these all up and just glue them together. And this will be our display. Right now it's showing that we have found all ten of them. And that's fine. So because this is a hologram, I can overlap them. And then these will just be our ones place digits. And I'll place them right beside the tens place digits. So if I were to go into preview, it would look just like a 10. Okay, now we're done with that. And I'm just going to make a little sample secret. This is going to be really simple. Just pull out a piece of hologram and put it down. That's going to indicate a secret. And then I have a microchip that I have put down. And then I put a tag on it. So I've made one secret, and so our secret counter should display, but you've only found nine of them. And it does. Okay, now I'm going to set this up so that when you collect the secret, it gives you some points and then destroys itself. A nice way to do that is just a sequencer. So I just put a sequencer on there, and then I can use a score giver. Put that right on the sequencer and then put a destroyer right after it. Now I have to put the destroyer after it because if you trigger the both at the same time for whatever reason it doesn't activate that score sensor so there does have to be a little slight delay there and I don't need all this extra stuff so I can just shrink it down and then I can just set up my destroy effect to just be disappear and you could tweak the score sensor to whatever you wanted. Now the nice thing about sequencers is if you don't wire anything to them and you just leave them right there like that, they actually do serve as player sensors. So once the player gets in range of that, it's going to turn that sequencer on. Okay, so this is essentially a package, a full package of a secret. You could decorate it however you would want, but if I just make a couple of copies of this, it'd be like placing the secrets in my level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Okay. So this should display that we have found no secrets. And it does. So I'm just going to drag this down so we can see it as it's working. And notice that I'm in preview so we can actually see it. So if I collect one secret, there it's going to show I've collected one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and all ten. And it's just as simple as destroying those pieces of hologram with the secrets on them. Now if you wanted to get not quite as much of a delay as I had on there, you can decrease the seconds per strike time on here, and it'll have a more instantaneous effect. I'm not sure if it'll work at point one, but we can try it. And it worked just fine. So cool. So we basically set up our secret counter. That's all there really is to it. If you wanted to extend this to, say, 20 secrets or 30 secrets or whatever, it would just require more sensors and you would just extend this up. You would need to put in some more OR gates because you'd find that you would be reusing digits, which is fine. We, you would just set it up the same way that we set up our 0 because our 0 is reused for both 0 and 10. Okay. So that's a secret counter. Um, there's not much more to it. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to show you guys what it looks like in my level. Let's see if I can edit that in there. I've got a level that I finished, but unfortunately with PSN being down, I can't do anything about it. So I'll show you what it looks like in mine, and that'll be the end of the video. Take care, guys. See you later. The tutorials will unleash not only exciting tools and objects, but knowledge and the deepest secrets of the cosmos.